What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's Zig and Bagel here, and welcome to a special video. Usually, we would be having Pixar right now, but we have our little break between the season. So, this video is going to be on the ARC mods that I would love to see in Pixar. So, it's going to be split up between six categories game changing, building mods, we have stacking mods, taming mods, uh, gameplay type mods and other types of mods I would like to see, or other types of mods that I've liked that don't really fit into one of those categories. So, we're going to jump right into the action here. I'm going to list the mods I love the most from each of these categories, and just kind of tell you a little bit about why, and it should be a pretty quick video. So I'd love to hear in the comment section down below if you guys enjoy these too, and uh, if there's any other mods that you would like to see in Pixar when the dev kit is released. So, let's jump into the action, shall we? Okay, first guys, for game-changing mods, we have Anunnaki Genesis. Anunnaki is, well, it's a pretty fun mod. It adds a lot of new dinos and, uh, let's see... There's different types of alphas and all kinds of good stuff. You got uh, wyverns and lots of new colors. That's one thing I'd love to see is different colors in the dinos and lots of good stuff. I mean, a lot of these uh, game-changing ones, they have a lot of the same things, but a little bit different in the same way. But I've always loved a good Anunnaki Genesis. So we're going to move on to the next one here. We have Extinction Core. Which adds a lot of cool things as well. You got like your reindeer and the uh, a lot of the big guys like the big uh, gorillas and all kinds of good stuff. It's really, really fun. Let's see. I'm just trying to look through here and see anything I can explain about them. I mean, if you're watching, you've probably seen it. If not, you can go ahead and check out in the description down below for any of these mods. I will have the link for them so you can check them out yourself, but there's a lot of good stuff in all these, like uh, Extinction Core, you can ride dodos and all kinds of fun things. Uh, I'd, let's see, you got like bone type dinos and lots of good stuff, your boas. It's just, uh, it's a good mod. I like to uh, stack a lot of these. But the next two mods for game changing are two that I definitely like using together. They have a lot of great stuff. So, moving on to the next game changing mod, we have Pugnacia Dinos. Lots of cool dinos in here, different colors and things that they do. They And a lot of the dinos actually have functions. That's one of the things I really love about Pugnacia. It's probably my favorite out of these four for the game changing. Uh, especially because there's the types of dinos that can actually do crafting. Like, especially the Anki. I'm trying to remember the type of name it, of it right now because it's been a while since I have actually played some Ark. But you can actually, like, craft metal inside the Anki. There's the T-Rex versions where you can actually cook meat and everything. It's just a very helpful mod, and I mean, it makes it so... You don't end up having to craft some kind of thing, uh, certain things to get things done, which I do enjoy. I mean, there are elements of that already in Pixar, like with the thorny lizard, how you can craft uh, ores out of dirt and sand and stuff like that, which is very, very cool. But I would love to see even more of that. And then moving on to the last of the game changing mods, we have Ark Eternal. Arc Eternal is quite cool. Uh, it's an overhaul mod that changes a lot of the features from Vanilla Arc. It adds 204 new dinos. Uh, let's see. Just checking out all the different things. 30 bosses so far. And a lot of these guys have some really interesting progression and different types of dinos that they do stuff in. I'm just checking things out here. I believe, yeah, Arc Eternal also has some tech armor, which is something we're going to get into because I do love the tech equipment. 
So I'm just trying to think of anything else in here I can tell you about Arc Eternal. But yeah, it's definitely a fun one. And if you're going to get any of these game-changing mods, I would definitely suggest the Pugnacia and Arc Eternal for sure. I haven't played Anunnaki and Extinction Core in a while, so I wouldn't be able to tell you as much about them. So for the next subject, we're going to be moving on to building. For the building category, we're starting off things with a personal favorite, one that I do enjoy. It adds a lot of cool buildings. It adds a lot of other things like uh, new uh, materials and just good visual stuff uh, for outfits and all kinds of good things. We have the Arc Steampunk mod. Uh, this, this mod has, I've seen it evolve quite a lot over the years. I remember when a lot of it was just the buildings that you could do, but they have since added a lot of things, including a Zeppelin, which is pretty crazy. It's been a while since I've checked things out, so not sure if they fixed a lot of the, uh, the buggy issues with it, but I am hoping so. So yeah, that is the Steampunk mod. Just trying to think if there's anything else I can tell about it. Nope, not, not, not that I can think of. I mean, i definitely check it out. It's one of those great building mods. And it's not just a building mod. They have great new weapons and outfits and uh, some types of creatures. But it, more so, it's like special saddles and looks that you can put on creatures that already exist. So, it's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to be moving on to the next one now. Which is, it's a small mod, but it's actually a really fun one. It's the Auto Torch mod. So Auto Torch Mod is just that, it's torches that are automatic, they don't require any resources to actually run and stay on, and it's really nice if you just want to use torches to add a little ambiance to your base, and not have to worry about constantly getting resources to refill them. If you remember in our episode for our building of the two towers, I got all those torches all over it, and I put... Uh, I put resources in them so we could see what it looks like at night. I never ended up even actually going and refilling all those because it's a big pain in the butt, especially with where a lot of those torches were. So, an auto torch mod would be amazing. Not to mention, an auto torch mod, you can also change uh, the colors between different things, like going with blue light with angler gel and green light with rare flowers and red with rare mushrooms so a lot of just different colored light would be amazing I know in Pixar you can do painting of the lights and kind of change colors that way but I haven't really seen it work that well alright moving on to the next one we have castles keeps and forts medieval architecture so I definitely love to see something like this in Pixar because, I mean, who doesn't love to build a good castle? I mean, I'm just trying to think. A lot of this would be just having the specific types of doors and windows and the actual, like, walls and stuff and ceilings and all of the basic things would have to be just the texture of a normal block in Pixar for the foundations and walls. But a lot of the, the things that could be added are like the the linings for the top of roofs so you can have towers and all kinds of good stuff the all the different types of windows the big doors drawbridges things like that there is a lot inside this mod and I've always loved building some crazy crazy castles in it which uh, it's just fun to get creative and try to think of something really really fun to build so I definitely check that mod out, it is a lot of fun, and I would love to see one like it in Pixar. So, moving on to the next one, it's not really as much of a building mod as much of one helping for what already exists. It's called the Tech Helper mod. The Tech Helper mod actually adds the ability to, like, uh, craft the, the, like, the element and all that stuff so that you can make your tech armor, your tech buildings, which I'd love to see tech buildings and tech armor in Pixar. It would be very, very cool. And you can actually, let's see, uh, you can make the element with one metal electronic 
cementing paste and crystal which is very very cool and I it's one of those that I've really loved because it unlocks all of that tech gear for you that you would normally have to get from fighting like all the bosses and those things don't stick with you if you've beat them and on any other server or game mode you have to unlock them every time for every server so for modding the tech helper mod is very great if you just want to be able to jump in to tech armor once you're able to actually you know make the element to do so so moving on to the next building mod we have arc futurism final existence so i remember a long long time ago when modding was just beginning in arc when they released the uh futurism mod was one of the first mods released or at least one of the early ones released and it was pretty cool there was a lot of cool features in it different types of weapons and turrets and some robots and just cool looking buildings that kind of looked like bunkers but it has evolved quite a bit since then they've actually uh, created a brand new mod it used to just be arc futurism now it's arc futurism final existence and a whole new different type of mod but they've added even better looking building materials like it looks like you could actually build some kind of space station with what the building materials look like they have new types of bunkers and turrets and uh bots that they like different from what they had before all kinds of cool stuff just trying to check things out here because uh yeah it's just a lot of these things are things I'd love to be able to see in the game, like different types of bots that you could be added in, and a lot of these cool looks of buildings that would just be great to work with. I mean, I know Pixar already has a lot of great types of building materials you can use and a lot of the selection, but, I mean, modding is great, and it adds so much more, excuse me, it adds so much more to a game. Uh, and that's why I just can't wait for modded Pixar, and hopefully we'll be able to get into that in the very near future. So, let's see. Uh, the one I've been saving for last is, you might have heard of this mod, it is Structures Plus. So, for when it comes to Structures Plus in Pixar, um, a lot of what Structures Plus was created for was the fact that in Arc you can't pick up your structures after you place them down. Uh, luckily, in Pixar, that is possible. You can pick up a lot of your buildings, not all of them. So I could see Structures Plus for Pixar uh, allowing you to pick up those structures that you can't currently pick up in Pixar. But a lot of the things I could see is adding in the tech buildings, the tech armor and stuff that it has in it, and one of the biggest functions of Structures Plus that is amazing is the ability to pull resources between everything not to mention there's just a lot of other things in it for uh, especially for things like farming and you have the metal glass stuff which I've always loved the metal glass it looks amazing uh, there's different types of dedicated storage which I'm just looking through here and seeing that that's something new and even like underwater compartments and different types of turrets all these cool things that it adds uh, and it just kind of helps with some of the things you can't do in arc that are limitations to the building mechanics structures plus tends to fix those and it's pretty pretty amazing and I'd love to see a lot of those things in Pixar so uh, definitely one of my favorites I always have always always have put it on any of my arc servers that I've had in a long time so yeah that structures plus we're going to be moving on to the stacking mods there's only two of them so let's get started on to the stacking mods for stacking mods guys we're starting things off with resource stacks which is one of those stacking mods that has been around for a very long time and uh, it's one that I've really loved it increases stack sizes and such to well like 5,000 uh, let's see just more detail the raw meat and uh, actually like meats in general stack up to 2,000 we have that's for and then we have other types of meat that stack to 600 like the raw mutton 
and raw prime meats are let's see cooked prime kibbles and perishables stack up to a thousand berries and veggies five thousand chemicals five thousand fiber hide and pelt is ten thousand resources except for fuel are five thousand fuel and seeds stack up to two thousand element stacks up to 500 veggie cakes 250 and ammo at 200 so it's uh one of those that's just been around for a long time i've really enjoyed but uh it's not one i use as much now especially because of the next mod that i have uh started using as a stacking mod which is 100k configurable stack mod which is just that it's a big 100k resource stack mod and just kind of look into things here the all the berries stack up to 500,000 all vegetables 25,000 raw meats 50,000 uh, meat uh, cooked meats and jerkies 25,000 uh, let's see a lot of like you might be asking how could you even carry that much stuff well, this mod doesn't just increase the stacking, it also changes the weight on most of these items, so you can carry a lot of stuff on you, which is very helpful, especially in early game, when weight can be a little bit of a pain. So it's like, just for example, uh, when it comes to uh, metal, you can carry a 100k metal, and the weight for a stack is 100. Yes. I, uh, you heard that right, a uh, hundred thousand metal is 100 weight. It's pretty amazing, it's one reason I just love it for modding, for a modded series and just fun modded play in general, the 100k resource stacks mod is amazing. So that is going to close things off with the resource mods, we're going to be moving on to the taming mods now. Okay, for taming mods, we're starting things off with a mod that has been around since really the early days of modding. And uh, you, you might remember it or have heard of it. A lot of people have been switching to a different type of mod, but I still love this one. It is the Kibble Vending Machine. Yes, and they actually have, they actually have two types of vending machines in the game right now. They have more of the cheaty one that uses metal, and then they have a newer one that actually uses coins as a special resource that you can get in the game and craft, I believe. So, yeah, it's very, very cool. I've always loved the kibble vending machine. You can just take raw metal and turn that into kibbles for your dinos to uh, tame. And another great thing about it is you can just pick it up and take it with you while you're going around taming things. So place them down, go get a little bit of metal, and just put them in your dino, and you can get a perfectly tamed dino from using the Kibble Vending Machine mod. So definitely a good one that I would love to see in Pixark, especially because right now, uh, even making Kibble is kind of impossible in Pixark. I haven't been able to see why, how it works. Uh, the table that is supposed to do it does not show any of the kibble that you can make. So, moving on to the next one, we have the Super Trank Rifle. The Super Trank Rifle is a super cheaty weapon. Yes, I know. It's uh, I would definitely only suggest using it if you have some really high increased tiers, like if you've increased your dino capacity levels to really high skyrocketing levels because this will really help, uh, especially if you, let's see, for some of those uh, game-changing mods where there's some crazy creatures, this is helpful, but I'd say if you want to just actually go with the progression that those mods have, use the tranks you have in there, but the Super Trank Rifle is a good mod to just kind of have in there, just in case, if you need it, and I do enjoy it, it's pretty much one of those where you shoot something, and it's going to be knocked out in one shot. No worries at all. So yeah, moving on to the next one here. It's a very, very helpful mod for taming up those creatures fast. It is the Tame XL mod, which Tame XL basically uh, not only increases the topor, but drops the food of the creature that you use it on so that it will instantly start eating all the food it needs and be tamed up in a quick hurry so you don't actually have to wait for it to get hungry it'll make 
all of its hunger go away and be able to tame up quick. So that is the list for the taming mods. It's pretty short. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of other mods that I could have put on, but I want to try to just go with some of my favorites from here. So next off, we're going to be moving on to gameplay mods. Okay, starting off for gameplay mods, we are starting with the resource crops mod, which is a really fun mod. It has a bunch of different types of crop plots. It has the ability to actually uh, make resources, which I really, really think is cool, especially for modded when you might have difficulty getting resources on some maps, especially in Pixark when it really depends on what kind of seed you get, whether you're going to have certain types of resources and how easy or hard they're going to be. So, moving on to the next one here, we have Awesome Teleporters. Awesome Teleporters, well, they're awesome. And I would love, love, love to see Teleporters in Pixark, especially because the Pixark maps are quite large. I feel It feels like a lot of the time they're larger than a lot of regular arc mods, but that might be because you can't actually increase your flying or your movement speed for your creatures. So they might just feel larger because you can't move that fast. But I'm, I'm not really sure. You might be able to tell me uh, exactly how big the Pixar uh, maps are compared to like the basic arc uh, map. But anyway, the awesome teleporter mod is not just your average teleporter. Uh, one reason I especially love it is the remote control that can allow you to teleport to the other teleporters uh, anywhere you are. So if you're in a jiffy, you can just spawn in and you can name your teleporters so you can keep things in. It actually shows like the coordinates of where they are. And there's just different types of settings for admins as well. So you can take uh, teleporters and make them for your entire community or lock them so that they're only for admin access or even you can a uh, lock your own so that nobody else could come into your base of course which is great so yeah I've always loved the awesome teleporter mod since it, it has been around and I would definitely suggest it and I'd love to have a mod like that adapted for Pixar so moving on to the next one for gameplay we have the dino colorizer which basically looks like a uh, a what do you call it a the the paint gun, but instead of painting walls and structures, it allows you to paint the regions of your creatures, which would be amazing in Pixar, especially because the creatures in Pixar right now are all one color, which is something we're gonna get into in the other section of our video today, but. Uh, yeah, the Dino Colorizer mod is great, so if you tame something and you want to just change its colors and you don't really want to do painting of the dinos, which can be really be weird, you go with the Dino Colorizer. And I could see a mod like this being very, very great for Pixar, especially just, like I said, there's really basic colors in Pixar now. So, moving on to the next one here is a great one, one you've probably all heard of, and I've seen a lot of people suggesting a mod like this for Pixar. So, you can probably imagine, or, or try to guess what it is. Classic Flyers. Yes, Classic Flyers, which, of course, for Pixar, it wouldn't be really called Classic Flyers, because the Flyers were never able to have their movement speed increased anyway. But, uh, Classic Flyers basically brings back the classic uh, vanilla flyer uh, stats that were originally like nerfed or changed a while ago and the fact that a lot of the uh, flyers they took off the ability to uh, to uh, do their movement speed which a lot of people weren't very happy about and I mean that's just a basic thing in Pixar that you can't do is increase your flyer speed so a mod that would actually allow you to put points into flyer speed would be great and I'm sure a lot of people are really much uh, wanting a mod like that so moving on to the next one here we have vacuum sorter which I don't know if you've really heard of this one that much but you can actually like sort your uh, it, it'll automatically sort any resources you put into it into the chest that you have of course uh, 
you actually have to do specific naming on the boxes so it'll actually go to where you want it to. But a sorting lot in Pixar would be great. Just so you could uh, go out, get a bunch of stuff, throw it into the sorter, hit sort, and it would just put it nicely organized into all of the storage units that you've created. So, moving on to the next one here, we have one that is fairly newish. Uh, I mean, uh, within the past, like, maybe two years. And it's one that I've grown to really, really love, and it comes very much in handy, especially in early game, is the Berry Sickle. Which, the Berry Sickle, it allows it so, as you hit bushes, you're just going to get pretty much a ton of... Of berries you'll also get a good amount of fiber as well like a regular sickle but you get a whole bunch of berries from it and it is amazing especially in early game taming where it's difficult to get your narco berries or medjo berries for taming an herbivore it's a very very helpful mod and I would love 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 to have a mod like this in Pixar and I can imagine this is one of those mods that could be a lot easier to adapt so, that was a pretty quick one. Not a lot to say about it, but it is amazing. So, moving on to the next one, we have the Level Up Counter, which, of course, when Pixar goes into modding, a mod like the Level Up Counter will be very much important so that uh, it's basically created so that you don't accidentally over pump your creatures because there are level uh, caps for how many points you can put into each stat, at least in Arc. Not really sure about it in Pixarc yet, but I'm sure we'll find out eventually. So a mod like this is very helpful, so you don't accidentally reset the stats of your dinos. So moving on to the next one here, we have the Fister's All Fog Remover. So I can see this one being adapted not really as a remover of fog, because fog was that annoying thing in Arc that everybody wanted to remove. In Pixar, the annoying thing that everybody wants to remove are the storms, especially the windstorms, and at least for me, especially the windstorms and the lightning storms. The lightning storms, I feel, are very, very game-breaking. The lightning storm happens, you have to go find one of those lightning helmets. They don't last for very long because they actually will, uh, they'll actually break, which is different from any of the other stuff in the game for the most part. So, moving on to the next one here, jumping right in here so we can get moving. We have the Dinoid mod, which is just that. It basically is a great mod for helping you uh, just give HPs back to your dinos when they've gotten hurt, which a big reason this was created is just the fact that your herbivores, you can't heal them up with berries. It doesn't work like with uh, the carnivores. So the Dinoaid mod and a mod like it would be great adapted for Pixar. Let's see, the next one here, we have the Death Recovery mod, which is really cool. I've loved it. It's just like a little gravestone that you can put down, and if you die, you just click on it, and it automatically pulls the stuff from your death bag, and you don't actually have to go back and try to find your bag. If your bag like gets lost, it'll just pull the stuff, and you don't have to worry about possibly losing what you had on you so it is very very helpful especially in modded where you get a lot of cool things and you don't want to lose them so moving on to the next one here for this next mod it's one that we've uh, that I have I've loved for well really since the beginning of mods it's one of those first that I've seen in a lot of modded series when it was first beginning is the Stargate mod which is actually called Stargate Worlds now. I remember, I think, in the beginning it was called Stargate Atlantis or something like that. But, uh, uh, along with the Transporter mod, it does a lot of the same things where you can use the Stargates to travel to other Stargates around the map, which is very, very cool. And they've since added quite a few things. Public Stargates for those servers with a lot of people where you want to actually have public zones so you can have those there are regular stargates i'm just looking here like it's been a while since i've been on arc i've said that before but i just see here that there's a stargate on a saddle that's crazy i wonder if it's like built in to a platform saddle or you're just able to put it on one they also have the 
uh, Stargate Shield. There's the Ancient Bench, for, which is basically a crafting bench. The Teleporter Rings, which are basically like the Gaul'd uh, Teleporter Rings, which are very, very cool. There's a DHD, which is the dialing device. A Stargate Remote. No Escape Stargate. Uh, let's see. Huh, this is different. It's been a while since I've checked these out, so it's really cool. So Lost Temple Ruin, that's something I haven't seen before, but uh, there's the Jumper, which is very cool. A Jumper Ship from Stargate uh, Atlantis. That's where we first find the Jumpers, if I remember correctly. Uh, it also has the Jumper ZPM and Jumper Saddle, which is interesting. But yeah, I've always loved that because I'm a huge Stargate fan, so I'd love to see that adapted for Pixar and have it all pixely and cool. So, the next category we're moving on to is actually the Others category. So, it's just talking to, about the things that I love. Like, uh, starting off, I'll talk about, like, uh, two mod authors that I've loved the things that they create. And I'd love to see pretty much any mod that they've made adapted for Pixar. I already mentioned that I love Mr. Fister's mods. So, really, any of the things he's made would be amazing turned into Pixar. And one of the other ones I could say are any of the Sevens mods from Seven. Uh, yeah, especially because a lot of those are ones where it'll pick up eggs or poop. Just stuff like that, and it's very, very cool. One of the things I would love to see even just implemented, implemented into the basic game is a more variety of dino colors. Right now, like, uh, for example, a Tranodon. It's blue, there's no other colors, they all look the same, and it would be great if they would just randomly spawn in a variety of colors, so you didn't, like, everybody wouldn't just have a matching trend on. So, yeah, I'd love that, not to mention it would just look cool, and I kind of mentioned something that I would get to that when we were talking about the Dino Colorizer mod, but yeah, I'd love to see a variety in the colors of the dinos in Pixar, it would just be very very great so uh, the next one is a spoiling bin uh, spoiling bins are very very helpful especially for getting those meats down especially if you've increased your spoiling rate for your server so that your meat doesn't spoil as quickly but when you do need your meat to spoil for making narcotics a spoiling bin is very very important especially when you're getting into making your trank darts and arrows and all that good stuff so a spoiling bin in Pixar would be amazing as well I'd say a mod that adds an Indominus Rex there are a lot of different mods that have added Indominus Rexes in Pixar I think actually some of those game changing mods that we've listed have their own versions versions of Indominus Rex so I'd love to see something like that in Pixar especially because uh, there's already I'm trying to remember what they are it's the one uh, wolf in the magic zone that can actually like make you turn invisible with it when you activate it. So an actual like Indominus in Pixar that could turn invisible just like that would be very, very cool. And I'd love to see it. So that's just one specific type of creature that would be cool. I love a lot of wyverns, a lot of those things that I would love to see from any of those mods. But I think we're going to close off with one thing that I've kind of had complaints about from the beginning, and I'd love to see, is I've always been a fan of the Super Spyglass mod, which uh, I'm going to make sure that mod's description, is, or uh, link, is down in the description down below, along with all the other ones as well. But uh, just the Spyglass in general would be very helpful in Pixar, because it's kind of a pain when you want to see what level something is, especially once we get into modded, and we have crazier creatures, uh, I mean, there's already some crazy creatures in Pixar where you don't really want to land, try to get close enough to see what its level is, and all that stuff. So a spyglass where you could actually take it out when you're on a flyer and try to look at things would be great. And I've always loved the super spyglass because it just shows like how much the torpidity is, what the health is, what the level is. So it's a very helpful taming tool for sure. So, I don't really have anything else on here, but I would love, 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 love to hear what types of mods you love in ARC that you would love to see become a part of Pixar. And with that, 
Uh, the next episode in a couple days, we're going to be starting off the season two of Pixar, where I'm going to be doing increased rates. Uh, I don't know yet at the time of recording this video if I'm going to be doing it on a server or single player. I, at this current point, they have not made it so that you can actually increase rates for hosted servers yet for me, at least while I'm recording this. So I'm hoping by the time I start recording for season two that I will be able to. If not, I'm going to be starting it on single player, which will kind of be a bit of a pain, but it'll still be a lot of fun. We're going to have increased points for dinos for character. We're going to have... Uh, which would be really, really great, like increased weight, increasing uh, the ability to increase the damage and the health better. It'll be amazing. We'll be able to have bring in a lot more resources faster to make even crazier bases than we ever did before. I mean, the one restraint will be more of just the time we'll have to put in for building some of these things. And I've already planned to, like, I really loved building our pyramid. And I was actually surprised at how well the pyramid I built turned out. So I'd love to do another one of those in Season 2 of Pixar. Maybe out of glass and some kind of metal. Or glass and the executive building material. Because I really loved how that looked as well. And I really want to build with it. So yeah, I hope you guys join me in a couple days for Season 2 of Pixar. Thank you for joining me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to show your support and tap that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you miss out on all the daily videos. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, don't forget to live long and prosper!